No. Not all of it. He got pretty upset. Might want to wait a tick of the month there. But yeah, the Ottomans got pretty upset at that. Also, this guy's navy is stronger, so... Ah, oh, shit. I didn't let a month pass. Yeah, I wouldn't have been able to rally him. At most, I can improve relations a little bit. But I need these scores to finish. I can't finish those scores until after we piece out Pilwa. I no longer need a spy network on this guy, but I do need a spy network on Sofala. But I, uh, I don't think we're going to rack up too much more aggressive expansion on these people. Also, when is my troops with Asheran over? 84, right? And we've got plus one dip rep until 80... 80... 80? 80 flat? So we need to finish our cores, and can we even finish this one? Yes. Yes, okay. But we need to finish our cores by 1480 so that we can get that plus one dip rep. Build a merchant fleet for easy shekels. That's not what we do here. Uh, what I will do, however, is send the dude from Ethiopia down here. Because we're going to get 100% of the trade power in Zanzibar. Especially if we end up pick picking exploration ideas. All you gotta do is kill all of these, and then you get it. If you then colonize the cape, there is no way anybody's ever going to steal money away from you. That's just very nice. I've built a merchant fleet once in the game where we made pirates the dominant uh, trade power in every single trade node. Actually, no, that's not entirely true. Not every single trade node. Every C node. Let's bring this back down to 250. That's 260. That's 252. That's 248. That's 252. That's 250. I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. Micromanagement to the max. Exploration ideas? But why? Oh, we're doing a one faith. I would like to have the power to get colonial nations on my own. Can I, you explain how I can increase fire and shock modifiers in battle? Well, you can get tech. Gives you uh, higher bonuses on these. Mostly tech. And you can uh, get new units. They have pips. And then you can get generals. That's how you increase those things. Also, score what we can and give nothing back. Now, hopefully, we can piece this out without a new coalition forming. That would be great. Because that means we can have a moment of peace where I can finish scoring my provinces. Of course, we, do, we will have rebels to contend with. A lot of them, too. Edict removal? Right. I'm not going to mess with these edicts anymore. I just can't be fucked. I just can't be fucked. Also, Splendor! Aggressive Expansion Impact! Get me. That's pretty much a no-brainer there. Noble Disaster? What? Oh, shit! Wow! 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 On the fucking cake there, Percy <laughs> Muave! 
on the fucking cake. Like, if he was more on the cake, he'd be fucking... He'd be... He's, he was on the fucking cake, man. <laughs> he was on the fucking cake. Jesus. That is... Wow. I don't even know what to say. Thank you. <laughs> I already modded him. I gave him an insta sword. That... That is, uh, that is very nice. <laughs> you get... People will say Noble Disaster all the time because, and I, you can't, you don't blame them because the, the pop-up is the same when it's at, when it's 10 years away and when it's one month away, the pop-up is the same, so... But, uh, yeah, I know. This time, on the fucking money, man. Min max the states. Oh, I'm not even paying attention to the. Like, if I was min maxing the states right now, I'd be removing a thing from the merchants. Actually, would I be? Because I think I can get money out of them. Yeah. Can I give you another province? I can, but then I'd have to course something over here. So I'll wait for that, and I'll keep them at this loyalty. But if I were min max against states right now, this guy's at 47 loyalty, so he needs to have some land removed. And then once they're at 50, you need to remove land up to 40. And then, you know, that's how you min max estates. But I'll make a video on min maxing estates in the future. But I usually don't bother. What usually happens is I'll have a nice system. And then I don't have to pay attention to it, and it, it just kind of works. He's really fucking close. He is really freaking close. Right, can we piece it you out without getting an extra coalition? We can! Perfect. Perfect. Let's piece that out. And now we just finish our cores and then we ally the Ottomans. Without starting a new war, we're just going to stomp some rebels for now. We've got Madahan in Galkayo. Galkayo. In uh, on top of that. And I want to open up the religion map mode because we do want to be converting on the map. It is the best way to convert land, especially as a Jew. You really sh should pay attention to that. Now, when will you guys lose influence? January 1477. That is a little what? No way, though. How did those guys fire? That is a, a slight note that you might want to take into account. If you do convert on the map and you don't take religious zeal into account, you might tie up one of your missionaries for like uh, 10 years. So you do want to pay attention to that it, the, the conversion time is positive. Am I going to get a foothold in Madagascar? Oh, you bet your JJ. I'm gonna get all the footholds in Madagascar. Also, we should probably fabricate some- Ah, why are you on low? You weren't on low. He was lying to my face. Neighboring different religion, right? Is that just- Oh, far far hell, veteran, jevla, fitan, no, improve relations. That is, uh, needless to say, quite risky. Also, did we core a uh, center of trade? I don't, I don't care about centers of trade. I want a gold mine, a state with a gold mine that also has a center of trade, and I know there's one down there. Am I going to move the capital to Jerusalem? Uh, nah, I got a better capital in mind. I didn't convert that province to the north, that's why- Oh right, that's why- Yeah. Okay. Solution. I mean, question answered. <laughs> no, my good general died. 
Can I get a new good one? Oh, I've got a new good one. Also, what's my air all about? My air is decent. I saw that four there and I was like, holy shit, truce with the thingy over? But no, 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 none of that. Right, can we convert this now? No, not until 77. Right, so I couldn't have prevented that even if I wanted to. That is a good day indeed. Yeah, loans. Which allows me to build more ships. And Inquisimator, who's apparently really fucking expensive, but needs to be done. Also, conversion. Jesus Christ. 24? You gave me 24? What do you think I'm made of, man? Money? Jesus, 24? He gave me 24. That is retarded. I mean, nothing against you if you're actually retarded, but I mean, that is... That, that's a lot. Right, we can prevent this from firing. If we were to do this... And then raise autonomy, raise autonomy, and then cancel. Cause now Marahan is gonna be like, oh well, I'm not firing. Ausa. How about we? We already have the state of fight. I'm just gonna raise the autonomy here. Fuck it. And then we'll have Harar and Harer and Mora. Magical Tropius. Magic Tropius. Thank you for something for four months in a row. Which makes my tip my hat off to you, sir. Alright, so let's uh, statify this. Raise the autonomy. And do that here, too. And then we're going to unstatify that land. And next up is Hobio. Hobio is not going to fire. Madahan. Madahan's not going to fire. Madabari. Hamazin. Hamazin. Are you doing this time of year, buddy? Overextension, right? That's not gonna happen. Mombasa! Tonga and Mombasa! Tonga and Mombasa! That is all the way down here. That's going to fire. Warsangali! Bosaso and Lascore! Let us statify this. And judging from the dark red lines, this is one state, so. Unstatify! Fantastic. Alright, we got this. Will I continue Horde America? Yes, on the 4th of July. Probably. I mean, I kept delaying it, and now it's so close to July that I'm like, well, uh, I'll just do it on the 4th of July, or at least end on the 4th of July. That's gonna be a uh, tough, uh, tough nut to crack, but we can do it. Every time you click the religious memory, the sound of shackled failing plate. What? Shit, you're right. <laughs> Shit, you're right. Merkav? What? Did I get Merkav? No way. Did I? I didn't get Merkav. Screw that. Ugh. You, got me, you got me scared shitless there. That would have been an expensive joke. Also, uh, let's get this. Oh man, that would have been an expensive joke. Jesus. You got me scared shitless there. This is also going to be super expensive. Ugh. However, I think Loja isn't gonna fire. That's not gonna fire. That's not gonna fire. That's not gonna fire. That's not gonna fire. And this is not going to fire. 
Tech 7, LA Alt Potato. After we finish our cores, maybe. Yeah, after we finish our cores, we can try that. After we finish our cores. No, we can we can tech up right now. There's no point not to. That should give my military quite the boost. <laughs> One point. One fucking point. You measly bastard, you. Bronze cannons, boys! First in the world to attack seven. Fuck yes. You know, if you hold the tabs to the thing, you get amazing music. F1. I'm always going to end up with that one. Right, T. T. T, 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 T. When will the final core finish? Right there. Do we, we have a Diplo guy? We don't need to pay for our troops. I'm apparently paying 50, 50 ducats on. And now we just sit back and relax. Watch my course finish, my Diplo rep go up, and this guy wanting my VJJ. Of course, we could increase the amount of VJJ wanting by building a couple of extra troops, which we do have the force limit for that, and we do like cannons. Uh, you know, using every little ounce of stuff I have in me. Merc cannons, what the fuck? <laughs> Screw you. I'm not falling for that a second time. I come on, buddy. So close. So close. I just need a couple more cores to finish. Well, this is certainly going to prevent a lot of rebellions. Come on, we can get it. We just need a bit more. No! What happened? Stop building troops. Stop building troops. Come on. Right, let's convert this thing. Merc cannons don't read books exactly. Now I could spend the money to go over the limit, but I really don't want to. 5% yearly death risk. How much more am I going to get from upping my my stuff here? Two and a half. But he could tech up at any time. Remember, he still has Mehmed on the throne, so... Ah, shit. Wanna do it on the map? Oh, well, turns out that would have been the one on the map.
Pressing spacebar intensifies. Maybe you can make the nobility happy again. Or at least own 10% of the land again. <sighs> Shit. Right. I can't handle the stress. I'm bu I'm bu I'm getting a couple of no, 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 let's not. Let's not. We still have three years of time. We just need to scroll that. Oh god, he peaced out. No! Fuck's sake! Okay, well, I can take this. This is fine. Okay, yes. Okay, fine. Perfectly natural. Chase. I, uh, 30 days is too long. I have, uh... What do you mean I can't fabricate a claim on this? Who did I fabricate a claim on? What the fuck is it in Marina? I fabricated a claim on that! <laughs> no way! <laughs> Shit! No, we can't check now. Oh god, oh god, the relations, they're so high. They're so high. Consort marriage ties, motherfucker! <laughs> yes! 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 Come on, buddy! Come on! Come on, get there! Yes! Fly like the wind, Shadowfax! Fly like the fucking... Yeah. No! <laughs> Best the thing! Get... Get fucked! Get fucked, motherfuckers! No one can touch the Jews now! Hmm? Get it, 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 it. Oi vey, motherfuckers! Oi fucking vey! Right? That is nice. That is very, very nice. Indeed. Right. Now, let's go vassalize this guy, because apparently he wants to get Diplo vassalized. Oh boy. This is very. Oh, apparently this guy wants to get Diplo vassalized. Why are you guys all so happy? Different in government form rank. Why, why would these people want to get to blue ass life for me? I uh, honestly don't know what to tell you. Honestly don't know what to tell you. Alright. This is the urn, guys. This is the urn. My heir is god and my ruler is even god, more godlike. If I vassalize Sofala, uh, who I can't get to 190 relations, but I might be able to get this guy to 190. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That'd be possible. And, but why would I want that again? To, well, to save admin. I need to have a funk. I need to have a funk. Can you make your ruler into a merc cannon? <laughs> See, the best part of this is, now, when the Ottomans wants to attack the Mamluks, we'll know, because we'll get called in. You save Adam, but you lose all that gold. I don't technically lose the gold now, but though do I? If I get this guy as a vassal, I could feed him all the land except the gold. Besides, I can probably integrate him by 1500 anyway. It would be the, the correct call to make. It would also deprive Mutapa of an alliance. Not that those 9,000 units are too big of a deal, but 
You know, 9,000 units you don't have to fight. It's 9,000 units you don't have to fight. Tell you what, I'll approve relations with him. If we can approve relations with him before we manage to siege down in Sofala. Maybe. Otherwise, we're going. State kill the gold. Definitely. So let's find that state with the gold in it. Because that happens to be we can't do that yet. We can't do that yet. What we can do, though, is pay for our troops. And uh, get to fighting. Should be well and good. I got a better idea. You better book it, buddy. Right from under your nose, motherfucker. I'm trading in slaves? What? Am I really? That disgusts me. Right, let's bring this back down to 250. 250. There you go. Always forget which way to go. And we can start blockading that as well. Very nice. Also, I'd like to build up a spy network on this guy. And we can stop improving relations with the Ottomans now. And instead start building up a spy network on Sakalava. Because they have land that I want. That is rightfully mine even. So, oh, no. Counter espionage. Build a spy network. Also, let's split these guys up. Am I collecting in delicious Zanzibar? You bet your face I am. I'm collecting it all, but I do want to fire these people. Alright, so like I said, if we can get these relations to uh, 100 before we finish the siege, I'm gonna vassalize them. Otherwise, I'm not gonna vassalize them. Spoiler alert, I don't think I'm gonna get there. But then, I need to be able to fabricate a claim on Mutapa. So, whichever one of these gets there first, either the 20 or this one uh, uh, hitting 100, is going to determine the faith of Mutapa. Right, let's open up the religious map mode. Pate is next. And I think I scored all of my provinces, except for the one with the state with the gold in it. So typical. <laughs> right, let's go Lamu. Uh, sure. <laughs> A helping hand. Because we're at war with the same guy, I think he'd be willing to accept an alliance. No. Alright, so we finished that, we can now statify this, and core it. This is nice. Let's make that an accepted culture. Oh, also, doesn't that mean that we can, uh, well, we have to add more land, but it also means that we can now ask for money from the merchants. So let us give the nobility that thing, and that thing, and then we'll give the merchants. Well, I mean, I may as well give this to them, right? It won't uh, give me the gold income, because it's mostly based on thing, but we can give them this. We just have to remember to remove it later. And we'll give them this as well, and now we hire a dude from them. Oh, we can't. That is a bummer. I had hoped we'd be able to hire a dude from them. Aw, oh, shit. 